Namaste everyone. My name is Shubham Alok and today in this video, I am going to talk about a very important topic that is related to planetary conjunctions. Understand it in this particular way. Rashis are like a house. Degrees into a Rashi. Right? There are 12 Rashis and one Rashi is of 30 degrees. Degrees into a Rashi are like compartments, rooms. When two planets go into the same room, there becomes a problem. It is like, you know, children. You give one room to two children, they start fighting. Same happens with planet also. You give one room to two planets, they will start fighting. This is known as Grahayud or planetary war. And what I have seen is that this is very detrimental for the horoscope. Though, according to concept, there is a winner in planetary war, there is a loser in planetary war. But, what I believe is, it is either the winner or the loser, that does not matter. Both the planets suffer. So, first of all, you should understand what is a planetary war. Two planets. Here, basically, the planet indicate Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. These two planets in the same degree or having difference of one degree. So you said 28 degree Saturn and 29 degree Mercury. So only one degree, 28 degree, 20, 28 degree to 29 degree, only one degree. Out of these five planets, Tara Grahas, they are called. Any two at the same degree goes into a planetary war. Now, this planetary war is very detrimental. This planetary war is very bad. Right. There is a winner in the planetary war also. There is a loser in the planetary war also. And this winning and losing in the planetary war gives us a lot of hints about any type of conjunction. We'll go into that. But first you understand that Sun, Moon, Rahu, Ketu do not go into a planetary war. First of all, any planet with sun is combust. Now combustion happens under a particular degree. So you have to take that particular degree into consideration also. Right? Other than that, any planet with sun, otherwise also, is not considered very good. Right? Is considered bad only. This is to be, you know, this is specifically to be taken into consideration. Specifically, many people are ignorant about the combustion degree of planets, which should be very carefully taken note of. Moon is combust 12 degrees under sun. So 12 degree before sun, 12 degree after sun does not matter. It will still be combust. Even if the difference of degrees between sun and moon is 12 only but sun and moon are placed in different signs also then also this does not matter combustion applies irrespective of different of rashis or what difference of rashis or whatever direct mercury is combust under 14 degrees from sun and retrograde mercury combust under 12 degrees of sun 12 degrees more to sun 12 degrees lesser than sun does not matter Direct Venus is combust under 8 degrees from Sun. Retrograde Venus combust under 10 degrees of Sun. Mars is combust under 17 degrees from Sun. Saturn is combust under 15 degrees from Sun. And Jupiter is combust under 11 degrees from Sun. 11 degrees before, 11 degrees after does not matter. Even if they go into two different rashes, it does not matter. Other than these particular degrees, other than being under the combustion degrees, if there is any planet conjoined with sun, you have to judge the result of the planets the way I am telling you to judge the result of other planets in this video later on in the second half. Now, planet with moon is basically considered very good. This is technically known as Chandra Samagam. Chandra Samagam is good. 
understand that moon indicates soma soma is the nectar that gives immortality also and more than immortality it gives power so any planet conjoined with moon is a very powerful planet this becomes the most auspicious and most beneficial planet for the horoscope until and unless this planet if this planet is a malefic then being conjoined with moon it will also disturb moon hence it can give mental issues other than that if this is a beneficial planet conjoining with moon this is very good this planets become very powerful very strong and very auspicious and even if this planet becomes the lord of 6th 8th or 12th house it does not matter this planet give good result only if this is a malefic planet then what happens planet remains powerful but moon loses its its, its strength so bad result in the matters of mind mental issues finance related issues and problems related to the houses lorded by moon will come that one have to take into consideration but this planet being in the company of moon becomes power chandra samagam is specifically very good to highlight the importance i shall tell you a single word that there is no planet better no planet auspicious no planet good than a planet in chandra samagam to be very chandra samagam conjoined with moon now with rahu ketu there are many issues i think many people have some misconceptions related to rahu ketu which should not be there the simple case is if rahu and ketu are conjoined with a planet they give result according to the planet they are conjoined with don't think that if rahu conjoins with venus it will destroy venus or rahu is conjoined with saturn it will destroy saturn no if rahu and ketu only reflect rahu and ketu are like a mirror they only reflect the result if it is a good saturn conjoined with ketu ketu makes it even better if this is a good saturn conjoined with rahu rahu makes it even better if it is a bad saturn that is conjoined with rahu only then rahu will further deteriorate the saturn if it is a bad saturn conjoined with ketu then ketu will further deteriorate the saturn so the result of conjunction of rahu or ketu is more dependent on how the planet is already placed if the planet is well placed it is well and good to see how is the placement you have to see the house of the planet you have to see the rashi of the planet you have to see the house lordship of the for an example 80% of the cases if 10th lord is situated in kendra houses first four seventh and 10th house or 10th lord is situated in the trikona houses 5th and 9th house and then they become conjoined with rahu ketu or you say 9th lord goes to 11th house 11th lord goes to 9th house 5th lord goes to 11th house 11th lord goes to 5th house 2nd lord goes to 11th house 11th lord goes to 2nd house all these are good combinations and planet making such good combinations if they are further conjoined with rahu ketu only the good result of these planets will be enhanced bad combination like 6th lord in 4th house 8th lord in 5th house such combination when conjoined with rahu ketu only will be detriment this particular thing you have to keep into mind the funda is simple good house lord into good house is good bad house lord into bad house is not good but okay good house lord in bad house bad house lord in good house is generally what becomes the problem right this is the basic point now coming to planetary war as i have told you mercury venus saturn mars jupiter any of them in the same degree produces planetary war now what happens in the planetary war planet in planetary war becomes nistage they lose all of their power by losing power what will happen whatever result these planets were supposed to do they are not able to do that suppose you have a friend that friend can help you in any situation but if you call them at a point of time when they are bedridden they will not be able to help you in the same situation understand it this particular way if there is seventh lord in a very good condition situated in the horoscope 
but somehow it goes into a planetary war he becomes very weak so the result of seventh lord being powerful cannot be felt because planet is very weak this is basic principle. now you also have to understand this point if 12th lord goes to 5th house there should be loss related to 5th house right 12th house indicates loss 5th house related to 5th house child education whatever now if this 12th lord goes to the 5th house and goes into a planetary war of course the result of 12th lord into 5th house that is loss of child loss of education loss of intelligence mental trouble these result will be destroyed of course but generally the problem is to be in a planetary war there should be an involvement of two planets now all these planets mercury venus saturn jupiter mars they rule two houses one of their houses can fall into a bad house but other houses will fall into good house so at the end of the day it remains a problem for this particular reason i consider planetary war always to be problematic to be very honest with you right so this is the first point that planet in planetary war becomes very weak and because of becoming weak whatever good result or bad result the planet was supposed to give he is not in a position to also the if planets want to save you if planet want to give you good result these results planets are not able to right so this generally becomes a problem now there is one more point in it other than this what i have noticed is planet any two planet which go into planetary war produce disease so disease related to both these planets will be there so if mercury or saturn go into a planetary war then bone related issue skin related issue breathing related issue odor related issues will be there secondarily planet when they go to planetary war reduce the longevity if they are the lagna lord eighth lord third lord second lord then generally they reduce the longevity of native itself however this is a very dubious point if the planet in a planetary war is further exalted etc then he will not curtail the longevity he will not be bad to longevity but health problems it will give other than that if ninth lord goes into a planetary war then either father shall have a short life or for that matter you can say father will have a long life but will not live with the native so basically your happiness for father is curtailed or in the other words you can say luck is not supporting throughout lifetime so you say person have been lucky to have a good education but later on you know some problem happens and the educational qualification is not reflected in the professional life or anything as such for that particular matter i'm just giving you example of few horoscopes that i can recall some random things right this is the basic point about planetary war and you have to be very careful in judging the planetary war 80% of the time we ignore that there is a planetary war happening in the horoscope and this generally tends to be a problem ninth lord going into the 10th house with another planet you know there is there was one horoscope ninth lord in 10th house 11th lord in 10th house the person was very happy that sir i will be very rich i will be very fortunate and all these things you know child child 28 29 years old i just looked at the horoscope and it was the ninth lord and 11th lord in the 10th house was into a planetary war now you know there is nothing to be happy about it the <clears throat> result will not be felt the planets are weak and whatever good result we are expecting of 11th lord and 10th house ninth lord and 10th house those results shall not come to pass so carefully you have to judge it <clears throat> the the concept is two planet goes to a planetary war one planet is winner one is loser the result of loser is completely destroyed however classics believe that the winner is saved somehow i don't resonate with this point according to me two plan two planets in planetary war both the planets have problem both the planet have scars of the fight 
scars of the war. Right, war is detrimental for both of them. But still, you have to understand the concept of planetary war. To understand that concept, you should understand basic model of universe or basic astrological model of universe. You say, now you can see a paint in front of you. You say this orange circle is sun. This green circle is earth. And this blue circle is moon. Now you know that this sun, moon, etc. Sorry, this earth, mercury, etc. rotate east to west around the sun. And you say this earth is situated in the east direction and this is the west direction. Planet move from west to east. It looks that they are moving east to west. This is longitude. Longi means lambai. Longitude based on length. Now moon rotates around earth. This rotation of moon around earth is north to south. This is latitude. Latitude means latirika, breadth. Now this northernmost point, where the or orbit of moon, the path of moon goes maximum north, this point is Rahu. And the maximum south in the path of moon around earth is Ketu. Now in astrology, there are many types of Ketu. Up Ketu, Doom Ketu, Ulka Ketu, etc. At least 16 to 17 types of Ketu are there. So basically this planetary Ketu is known as Sikhi, S-I-K-H-I. So the first two words of Rahu, R-A, and first two words of Shikhi, Ketu, S-I, is taken to make Rashi. Hence we call Rashi Chakra Zodiac Belt. This is how this Sanskrit word, word is formed. Now, east to west, on the path of earth with respect to sun, we cannot measure it, so we imagine it to be 360 degree. Now, the orbit of moon with respect to earth, that is north to south, is a total of 18 degrees. 9 degrees in the north direction and 9 degrees in the south direction, total of 18 degrees. Now, the concept in planetary war is very simple. In a planetary war, any planet which is in north, the planet which is maximum in north will be the winner over the planet which is situated in the south direction. Now, you should understand one more very small point, very meager. East to west, Calculation for the planet is done into degrees. So basically any planet in Aries degree, Aries zero degree will be called to be zero degree. Any planet in Taurus one degree will be called to be in 31st degree. Because 30 degree of Aries will close, 31st degree of Taurus. Any planet in first degree of Gemini. So 30 degree of Aries crossed, 30 degree of Taurus crossed, it will be 61st degree, so on and so forth. But in the north to south declination, in the Rahu to Ketu declination, talking of Jagannath Hura, the position of planet is indicated with respect to if the planet goes into south, their position is indicated with subtraction point, subtraction sign minus. And if the planet is in north, they are indicated with plus addition sign. Basically, no minus sign is made and any value that is written is plus only. Now, in this department, in this section, you understand 
Now maximum north a planet can go is 9 degree. Maximum south a planet can go is 9 degree also. Let's take three examples. One planet is 2 degree. Another planet is minus 1 degree. Now minus 1, this is into south. 2 is into north, this 2 degree means. One planet is 2 degree, another planet is 6 degree. Now 2 degree is lesser in north, 6 degree in more in north, 6 degree means. Third set, one planet as minus 2 degree, another planet as minus 4 degree. Planet in minus 4 degree is more in south. Planet at minus 2 degree, less in south. Planet in minus 2 degree. Means. This is the basic of planetary war, Grah Yudh, it is called. The planet in the Nagan Moore's side is the winner. You remember for Rahu, Ketu, Sun, Moon, you have don't have to calculate it because Rahu, Ketu, Sun, Moon do not go into a planetary war. For other planets. So understand a particular point in a horoscope. Any combination can happen. Combination of two planets, three planets, four planets, five planets, six planets. In this particular combination, who is the planet who rules the combination? I will give you an example. Venus Mercury combo, Mercury Venus combo. Venus indicates sexuality, Mercury indicates friend. Venus Mercury combo, Venus as the ruler. Person gets married to their friend. Person gets married to girlfriend, love marriage. Mercury Venus combination, Mercury becoming the ruler. Mercury indicate education, Venus indicate girlfriend. One will have girlfriend in college. Or if this Venus disturbs the Mercury, you say Venus is into a good Rashi Pisces with Mercury. So Mercury is debilitated. Now, because of woman, because of affair, one have to leave their education. Either way it can go. You understand that the results are dependent on the ruling planet. In any combination, one planet is the ruler and all the other planet either work to help that planet or disturb that planet. Now the ruler have to be decided based on which planet is more in the northern direction. To do that, you just open a particular horoscope. For example, I make horoscope for today. For the year, I make a horoscope of, you say, June 9, 1970. Now, in this horoscope of June 9, 1970, Venus, Mars is into a combination. Sun, Mercury are also into combination, but Sun, Mercury basically is not my point. Venus, Mars into combination. Now the result of combination are based on three factors. Normal result of planet you say natural signification based on the house lordship result of planet. Two type of result are there. So Venus Mercury combination what you can say Venus is the Karka for marriage. Mars is the Karka for fight. If Venus becomes the ruler then fights disturb the marriage. If Mars becomes the ruler, then because of daring, Mars is the ruler, because of daring, one gets a wife. One impresses their wife by their daring. This is the result for natural signification of both of them. And a Venus-Mars combination also makes one a good astrologer as well. Secondarily, you can see Venus is the seventh lord, sixth lord. Mars is the 5th Lord, 12th Lord. So this Venus-Mars combination is 11th and 12th house combination, 5th and 6th house combination, 5th and 11th house combination, 6th and 12th house combination. This is also there. Right? Result for all of these will happen. The result of 11th, 12th Lord conjunction, 5th, 6th Lord combustion, 
eleventh, fifth Lord combustion, combustion of sixth Lord and twelfth Lord. All this will happen in Dasha Antar Dasha of Venus Mars. The normal result of marriage disturbed by fights or impressing the spouse with physical activity, impressing the spouse with adrenal rush will happen throughout lifetime. Now, in Jagannath Hora, you have to right click here and you have to go to latitude, speeds, etc. coordinates. Here in latitude, we can see Venus having 0 0.009 degree per day. Moon is having 0 0.003 degree per day. Sorry, Mars is having 0 0.003 degree per day. Basically, Mars 0 0.003, Venus 0 0.009. They are not in subtract. So, they are not in south. They are in north. Mars in 0 0.003 north. Venus in 0 0.009 north. Hence, Venus is more in north. Because Venus is more in north, the combination of Venus will get dominated. Because of this particular reason, because Venus is the 11th Lord, Mars is the 12th Lord, Venus is the ruler, I will say there will be more income. Mars is the 12th Lord, there will be substantial loss of money also, but income will be more. If Mars was the ruler, then I will say loss is more, income is less. So in the same combination, Mars powerful with more loss and less income, it is a poor person. In this case, because Venus is the ruler, income is more and loss is less. Hence, it is a person which have extravagant money. This is a person living a luxurious life. Also, this is the fifth and sixth Lord combination. If Mars was powerful, it is the fifth Lord ruler. Conjoined with the sixth lord. So I will say child will have a disease. In this particular case, Venus Mars combination, Venus is the sixth lord and Venus is the ruler also. Now I will say because of disease, one will not be able to have a child. This disease has low sperm count or anything, etc. You can see. Also, because Venus is the ruler and Mars is the sub, you know, Mars is the subsequent one, subjugated planet. It can be said that Venus marriage shall be disturbed by Mars fight. Marriage shall be disturbed by rationality. Marriage shall be disturbed by other significations of Mars. This is how it have to be predicted. I am pretty sure that I am clear up to this extent. Right? Now the main stuff that I wanted to tell you through this video Most important <clears throat> with my own research. See, I don't teach things which are not developed by me. I believe that I can only have command on those principles that I myself have developed and tested. So the research that I am now presenting with you is all mine. Zero to up to this extent. I have done all the research myself. It is my idea, my concept, my research. I have tested it and it is sitting revealed in front of the world for the first time in this video. So my concept is pretty simple. You take a combination of two planets and judge the degree difference between them. Say one planet 15 degree, another planet 24 degree. So, 15 degree to 24 degree, what will happen? What will be the distance? What do you do? 24 minus 15. The degree difference is 9. So, this is a 9 degree difference. In this particular scenario, see the result that I will tell you if the planetary difference is 9 degree. Planet in the same degree. You know the result. I have told that up to this extent. Other than this, Dekho, understand the point. Any two planet in the same Rashi, one planet at 1 degree, another planet at 29 degree does not matter. They are still into a conjunction. They are living in the same home. So if a courier have to come to them, it will come on the same address for both of them. Okay, They are into a conjunction. 
there is no concept such as if planets are more than 15 degrees apart there is no conjunction this is not the case at least i have not seen it working in my experience also bhav chalit chart etc should not be considered when judging a combination now understand the point degree kal difference between two planets add a layer into the combination understand this basically this is my own method if the planet is in same degree it becomes a planetary wall if the difference between planet is anywhere between 1 degree to 5 degree it gives result according to saturn and mars basically it influences the houses lorded by saturn and mars give result based on that it gives a direct result to the native direct result to the native means i am taking same example this venus mars example throughout the i am taking this as a standard example here venus is 27 degree mars is 10 degree you do 27 minus 10 the answer is 17 17 degree difference between venus mars this degreeical formula can be applied to sun mercury combination also sun is 24 degree mercury is 0 degree they are 24 degrees apart venus mars 17 degrees apart sun mercury 24 degrees apart hmm? the result for both of them we have to see the result for both of them we will see now understand if venus mars were anywhere between 1 degree to 5 degree the combination of venus and mars the result that i am right now telling you fights in marriage will influence the house of saturn and mars in this horoscope saturn rules the third house second house mars rules the fifth house 12th house because of this fights in marriage second house family happiness will be destroyed third lord because of this fight in marriage venus mars one will have separation from their siblings venus mars fights in wife fights with wife fights in marriage will have bad effect on children because mars is the fifth lord and lastly venus mars combination if this was between 1 degree to 5 degree result goes to 12th house also because of this fights in marriage separation can also happen separation will also happen this is how you see as i have written it gives a direct event if the degreeical difference between venus and mars was anywhere between 6 degree to 12 degree the result will be according to venus according to the houses lorded by venus in the horoscope which will be different for every ascendant now you understand the point what does venus indicate venus indicates sexuality what happens your sexual likes dislikes develop over a period of like till the time you get married it develops over that time and once you get married that sexuality or your feeling of love comes to work in marital life and that makes sure how your marital life is so basically planet between 6 degree to 12 degree two planet conjunct with each other with a difference of anywhere between 6 degree to 12 degree does indicate that the result of this planet will be psychological and those psychological result will be there for a long period of time it will be subconsciously impacting the mind and one day suddenly it will burst out like a bomb and will go for an example in this particular horoscope if the difference between venus and mars would have been anywhere between 6 degree to 12 keeping in mind that mars is the fifth lord keeping in mind that this indicates fight in marriage i will say that child because mars is the fifth lord child will listen to their fights for a lifetime until and unless they grow up and as the children become adult get their own job stand on their own feet they will the children will separate themselves from the native 
right? Subconscious events, it generally give motivations, the result of which rises over a span of time. If the degree between Mars and Venus combination is anywhere between 13 to 20, like in this case, Venus is 27 degree, Mars is 10 degree, it is a difference of 17 degree, it falls into this area. Mercury area. The result is felt in the houses lauded by Mercury. The result is Venus Mars fights in marriage. Because of that, what happens? Mercury houses are disturbed. Because of this fights in marriage, Mercury is the 10th lord. Professional life will be that. The result of this fight will be seen in professional life and because Mercury is the 7th lord, because of this fights, marriage will break also. Remember in the first example that I gave you, the degree difference between 1 to 5, the result was not coming to the 10th house. Right? So, Mercury, if the degree difference between two conjoining planets is anywhere between 13 degree to 20 degree, the impact of the conjunction is felt on the houses which is lauded by Mercury in that horoscope and generally such combinations stimulate quick response. Any two planetary combination where the degree difference is anywhere between 13 degree to 20 degree, those combinations are so prominent that in day-to-day -day life of the native, the result of those combinations can be clearly felt. For an example, Venus indicate cloth, Saturn indicate black cloth. Now many people, Saturn indicate black color, Venus indicate cloth. Now many people may have combination of Venus with Saturn. But only those having degree difference between Venus and Saturn, and you have to minus, higher degree planet to lower degree planet. Anyone having degree difference between Venus Saturn combination anywhere from 13 degree to 12 degree will generally wear a lot of black dresses. Other people having Venus Saturn combination, but the combination, the degree difference in the combination is less than 13 or more than 20. They may not be strongly wearing those colored cloth indicated by planet. This you can check. If your Venus is conjoined with any planet between 13 degrees to 20 degrees, right? your Venus is conjoined with any planet and the degree difference is between 13 to 20, you like wearing the color of the planet whoever is conjoined with Venus a lot. Even the colors of your wall, colors of your home, colors of your vehicle are also of the same color color of the planet which is conjoined with Venus with a degree difference between 13 degrees to 20. And if the degree distance between two conjoining planets is anywhere between 20 degree to 30 degree, this comes under the area of Jupiter. It influences or affects or impacts the house that the houses rather that are lauded by Jupiter in the horoscope. And this combination have a direct bearing on fortune or misfortune. So you say in this horoscope, Mercury and Sun are conjoined. Degree difference between them is 24. The impact will be felt in the house of Jupiter lauded that lords the ascendant and the fourth house. So basically, Sun-Mercury combination. What does it indicate? Let's see. Sun. Latitude minus 0 0.001, Mercury minus 3.152, Sun is the winner. Sun indicates the soul. Mercury indicates the mind. Person listens to his soul, then his mind. This person is not much clever, but more truthful. If Mercury is powerful in the horoscope, such people are clever. They know how to work with mind. Here, sun is more powerful. They don't use mind. They are simple people. Sun powerful, simple people. Simple. Now, the simplicity is impacting his ascendant and this simplicity is impacting his fourth house. So, he is very simple with his family members. He is very simple in the matters of property and vehicle. Hence, can be cheated because of this simplicity. Because of not being street smart, in the matter of properties and vehicle also and because it impacts the lagna 
simplicity of mind, simplicity of thought, not being clever, not being charlatan kind of a stuff is there to this native by default as a basic nature. Secondarily, this Sun Mercury combination is basically a combination of seventh house and ninth house. Now, seventh house, ninth house combination is basically a good combination. Now, as I have written that the degree difference between planet being 20 to 30, it makes the person either highly fortunate or highly unfortunate. This Mercury Sun combination, three degrees between the seventh house to the ninth house, makes the person fortunate. Very fortunate in the matters of marriage. So even if this person have a bad marital life, even if they lose the spouse, they will be fortunate enough to get married again with a good spouse, with a good person. This is the result that it precisely indicates any two planet having a combination, having a degree, any two planet in combination, having a degree difference between 20 to 30 degree either makes the person very fortunate or makes the person very unfortunate. And whether it will make you very fortunate or it will make you very unfortunate, this have to be decided based on the other combinations of the horoscope. How to see that? Maybe in some other video, we will talk about that. Thank you for taking your time out to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Namaskar.